Church and board of directors of the Louisville Urban Pastoral Canyon. We thank you for your concern and your generous donation toward assisting our efforts to open a private Christian school. May the Lord bless you for your support and prayers in this endeavor. We will keep you informed and updated as the Lord continues to guide and open the necessary doors. I love and blessings to all who should walk the age on Virginia. When the next Sunday, the evangelist Deborah Ross, September 10th, will be speaking in the next morning worship. All reports are due next Sunday. Also, this reminder of the food pantry that ends September 17th has an all two years. Participate in that effort of your my food pantry. Uh, I want to apologize. Last Sunday I did not give all the birthdays last Sunday, so you want to recognize them today, okay? I want to recognize persons such as George Johnson, Cassandra Russell, 
I think the Bush, Shane Rose, our brother Braxton, we want to recognize them. We want to serenade them. Is that all right? Before I do that, we had a birthday. That was yesterday. We were serenade the next We are at the end of the month. We want to serenade those who had all these birthdays. We want to serenade you right now. And my apologies to you, my brothers and sisters. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Verse 2, every branch in me that 
does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. That's enough. You may be the Lord. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. Again, for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings, you have stored up for us. And even what you are yet to do, we thank you. God, I pray that you bless your word to fall on good and fertile ground, and to produce fruit in days to come. Lord, I pray that you'll be with me, speak to me, speak through me, and I speak to this, your people. Send fresh manna from on high. Speak for thy servant good here. Keep me humble, obedient, submissive, and sensitive to your spirit. Keep me ever at the foot of the cross, where you give the glory, the honor, and the life of me, your servant. God, let the words of my mouth meditate my heart, and my words, my thoughts, be your words, your thoughts. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, these blessings I ask. In Jesus, my awesome name, I pray, and I do thank you. Amen. Give me the verses again. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, for the time we share together, I don't want to talk to the subject of pruning. Mm -hmm. One day, pruning. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Nader, for the first song you sung. Right. Make me over. Make me over. Yes. God wants to do a work that we yes. are, yes. and that we be better than we are. Yes. Yes. I won't hold you long, but I will be as long as the Spirit of the Lord says so. Yes, then I'll be there. Right. Look at verse number one. I call verse number one description. I call verse number one description. Here Jesus is talking in his first two verses. If you have a, have a red letter Bible, it's all in red, and it's Jesus doing the talking. Jesus is describing who he is. He's also describing who the Father is. Uh, he wants the, the, the hearers, the readers, to understand that who he is and who his Father is. Uh, look at this verse, and I call it the description because of Jesus described. I am the true, meaning I am the divine or genuine vine. Yes. Meaning that there have been some fakes before. All right. All right. There have been some counterfeits before. All right. And I'm going to make it clear that I am the true and genuine yes. vine. Yes. <laughs> and listen to this. He uses I am. This in verse number 5, chapter 15, verse number 1, this is the seventh claim of I am. If you take your notes, I'm going to give you the verses in the Gospel of St. John, all six of them inside verse uh, 15, uh, verse 15 and verse 1. First one is St. John, chapter 6, verse 35. And I'm not going to go through all that you read in your, your leisure. Uh, St. John chapter 6, verse 35. St. John chapter 8, verse 12. St. John chapter 10, verse 7 and 9. St. John chapter 10, verse 11 and 14. St. John chapter 11, verse 25. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. I'm going to get y'all. I see y'all right the first one is St. John chapter 6, verse 35. Now I'll go slow this time. <laughs> the second one is St. John chapter 8 and 12. 
The third one is St. John chapter 10, verse 7 and 9. The fourth one. St. John chapter 10, verse 11 and 14. The fifth one. St. John chapter 11, verse 25. The sixth one, St. John chapter 14, verse 6. And of course, we end the seventh one in chapter 15, verse 1. Listen to this. This is the last seventh claim to the deity in the form of I am statement by Jesus in the Gospel of John. But then he talks about who the, who the Father is. He said the Father is the vine dresser, mm -hmm. meaning he is the gardener. He takes care ah. of <laughs> the branches. Mm -hmm. He is the gardener. All right. Listen to this. The first portion of it, he tells who he is. The second portion of verse number one, he tells who the Father is. Not only does he tell who the Father is, but he tells the job of the Father. He is the vine dresser. He is the gardener. <laughs> Watch this as we go to verse two. I call verse two. Divine care. Divine care. Or oh, his love. I want to deal with divine care more so than I do with his love because his care for the branches. Yeah. Now, before I go any further, let's describe who the branches are. The branches are the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. He tells, I am divine. And these branches are shoots or sprouts from out of the vine. These are those who follow me. All right. They are the branches. Yes. <laughs> he says, every branch, I like this. He says, every branch in me, what's it connected to me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a shift in a minute. Connected to me and positioned in me. Mm -hmm. But does not bear fruit, he takes away. That does not, you connect it to me yeah. as a branch, no. but you're not productive as a branch. Right. Okay. You're not productive as a follower of me. And since you're not a productive and a uh, follower of me, I got to, the Father has got to do away with you. Right. Yeah. I want to make this picture, y'all. Help me, Lord. Because we got to look at this. You are a branch in the Bible. This first part, but you are not productive by, by being in the vine. You connected with the vine. You position in the vine, but you're not doing anything while being in the vine. You're just taking up space and wasting time by connecting to the vine, but you're not productive. You're not bringing forth fruit and so forth. Since you are, since you are dead. Since you are spiritually lifeless, he takes you away. He moves you. Watch this. Watch this. He moves you. <laughs> he moves you from the place where you at. Let me go further. Thank you, Lord. He moves you from the place that you are because you are not productive. You are spiritually lifeless. Right. And so therefore, since you are lifeless spiritually, the Father removes you from your place. Wait a minute. Because sometimes we don't, or we're not productive and we're just wasting time and we're wasting space. Yeah. Because I have my space in God, I'm all right. But if God says right here in the word through Jesus, that this you who got no place, God, don't be going to stay in your place. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
See, what happens is complacency is dangerous. I'm satisfied in my place in Christ, but you're not doing that while you're in your place. You're not putting that food, you're producing in your place. And since you're not putting that in your place, he's got to move away from that and move you from your place. This picture of the vine dresser, the father, gets rid of dead wood. So this is so that the living fruit bearing branches, watch this, may be sharply distinguished. Mm -hmm. I want to say that again. Gets rid of the dead wood, so the living, the productive yes. fruit. Bearing branches, followers may be sharply distinguished, noticed, recognized, because they are productive and alive. Oh my. Watch this. I'm almost done, y'all. And she says something different. Listen to the second part. The first part. Is dead followers. The first part is dead followers. All right. I told you he's the fine character. He loves us, but he's not going to keep on letting us be dead. All right. And not conduct and be productive in his service. Mm -hmm. And being connected with his son. He's not going to allow us to keep on being in the same position, the same place, and doing nothing and not being productive. Because watch this, you can't contaminate those who are doing right. All right. Oh, Can I hang my head here? Thank you. Yes, Thank because sometimes God has got to get rid of some dead stuff, some dead things, yes. so that other people can grow. Yes. Because if you hang around something dead long enough, you don't mind up being dead. And if you just like that dead thing. Yes. And lose your place in God, and lose your position in God. I'm not talking about peace and all that stuff. I'm talking about your walk with God. That's one of the other parts of the, with the church for that. We position title of that. Yeah. Yeah. my head here. Come on, God talk to me dead. Yeah. That's what we did. We did right there. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm a pastor. Uh -huh. I'm a bishop. Yeah. I'm that all that pastor and practice and all that stuff. But you know what? Is God getting the glory? Are you being productive? And is God being glorified? Yeah. Or are you being glorified? Yeah. And if you have been going back, you are dead wood. Talk to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Talk to the Holy Ghost. And whatever position you got to get about the church. And if you're not productive and being who God is, you are dead wood. Yeah. I'm so unlisted in the church. Yeah, but what are you doing? Are you producing fruit? Are you helping somebody grow up spiritually? Or are you causing somebody to go backwards? You dead Yeah. Well. Jesus. You know what? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to be transparent just for right now. I'm sitting there as he, as he dropped that in my spirit. I'm sitting there asking myself, the one who taught me, where am I at? Yes. 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 See, sometimes we talk, we, we, we preach, but are we talking to us too? Come here, y'all. Come here. Yes. I'm talking to me too. Yes. And I'm asking myself the same question. I just say, yes. am I dead with her? Am I connected with dead wood and dead people? They will call me spiritually dead, spiritually lifeless. Wow. But watch the second portion, verse number two. And I'll get out of your own way. The Lord said the same. He listens to this. He says, every branch, I mean, it's all the branches. All the followers that 
bear or bring forth fruit, he, the Father, prunes that it may bear, bring forth more fruit. Or that you may be more productive. Mm. King James, we just New King James says prune, but King James says purges. Yes. It means he gets rid of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything the branch is producing, the, the one says, everything with the branch that's producing, but I need to cut the back some more. So you need more productive. Amen. You're not productive enough. Watch this. I love you so much. I care for you so much. I gotta cut some stuff off of you. Okay. Right. I gotta cut some stuff out of you. You think you're all right because you are producing, but but there's some stuff still lying in you that I, that's got you. You got you. I gotta cut out of you. I am the gardener, and I got and how much is I'm not just an ordinary gardener. The Father. I'm not just an ordinary gardener. I'm the I am the gardener. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, if you want to reach your full potential, 
They have lost the secret in the way. Yes, sir. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you want to be the best, the best version of you and the Lord Jesus Christ, the vine dress of the garden has got to cut some stuff out of us. Y'all feel that? I'm talking about me too. Right. Out of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. If we want to reach out to take your spirit, the vine dress of the garden has got to cut some stuff out of us. Can I just hit you? Can I get over those again? It makes no sense to the church. Time after time, and you're allowed to buy just to cut himself out of you. And you just like, maintain where you at. But I won't tell you something. You better stop maintaining where you at and ask God to cut himself out of you. The psalmist said in the 139th psalm, search me, God. Search me. Yes, sir. I don't want myself to search me. Yeah. I want you who made me search me. You know me. You know my downstairs. You know my uprisings. You know my thoughts. You know my thoughts of my own. You know me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. You are young man. You know exactly what I got on my plan. All right. For the month of September. All right. And even in October, you know what I got on my plan. Yes. In my plan. Yes. <laughs> you can't hide. I can't hide. Amen. You know what? Let me just take a song. Come out of the corner, you can't hide. That's right. <laughs> oh, folks, you sing a song. Yeah. Come out of the corner, you can't hide. Meaning that you, whatever point you're trying to hide, you'll sit up here. And God said, You can't hide. I am in your corner watching you in your corner. Watch this. Excess, excess must be trimmed away. And God, those who want to, those who desire him to, he cuts us continually. There's a continuous cutting away yes, yes, yes. for more growth and more development. If there's no cutting, there's no really development. And if there's no cutting, there is no potential to reach your potential. Watch this. He brings us continually. Though through his through this pruning, this is this. He examines our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let me hang my head right here for a moment. Okay. He examines what we think about. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm gonna say that word again. He examines what we think about. All right, all right. Not only does he examine our thoughts, but he also examines our emotions too. You got wrong emotions. You got wrong thoughts. You remember when I went we were two a few weeks ago in Ezekiel 11 chapter, verse 18 and 19, where the people detest and they made a change first? And then 19, God does the heart surgery yes. and he changes up a heart, a stone into a heart of flesh. Yes. Yes. But watch this, God is not going to force himself on nobody. Yes. But I want to tell you something, God is looking for willing vessels yes. for him to do the work. Yes. Yes. Number one, first of all, you got to do the work. Yes. You got to want to be changed. Yes. You got to want and allow him to change you. Uh -huh. But you got to do the work first. Don't leave it all up to God. You got to do some work. Yeah. He, he, he examines our thoughts, our emotions, our habits. Mm -hmm. For real? For real. Yeah. Right. Our habits. Because right. some of our habits ain't right. All right. Come here, y'all. Right. Some of our habits are not right. 
Not only have I thought it was not right, not only have I thought it was not right, but our habits are not right. And not only are our thoughts, our emotions, and our habits, but also our lifestyle ain't right. Did right. 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 they come to go to church every Sunday and all that? And if your lifestyle ain't right, you still get yeah. good. Going through the motions. What's your motive? Uh -huh. He knows all that. He assesses what we do. What I guess this is, he assesses what we do in our time. Amen. What are you doing in your time? All right. All right. What are you doing with your time? Yeah. That's what I should have said. Yeah. What are you doing with your time? All right. His pruning. Identifies patterns that may be pointing us that we're going in the wrong direction. Now, wait a minute. When he points it out to us, what do we do from that? What do we do from that? When he points out, uh, we're going in the wrong Hey, you're going in the wrong direction. Do you make a change or you remain in the wrong direction? What did you say? You want to make a change. The mind that says it's time to make a change. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. It's time. When, when, when it says it's time, it means right now it's time to make a change. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this. He may need to reshape us. Yeah. Yes. Reshape our thoughts, how we think. And we out distractions. How we think. All right. And the distractions. Mm. That's the thing can distract us, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some people that can distract us. Yes. All right. We out, dis out distractions or false ideas. You can believe what you say, I think, what? Right. I think, what? What? Where do you get that from? Or oh, encourage, it encourages us to change, make a change in our attitude. Well, thank you. Attitude adjustment. Mm. Attitude adjustment. Anyway, in Matthew 3 and 8. Please. Thank you. In my closing, just like a wise vine dresser or gardener, he the father wants, watch it, wants what is best for us. Yeah. Right. The TV show, Father Knows Best. Yeah. When Daddy God knows best, y'all. Yeah. Daddy God knows best. And Daddy God wants the best for all of us as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. He the Father wants us to be as fruitful and productive as possible. Fruitful and productive as possible. <laughs> he, it is required yeah. is required of the vine dresser right. is to prune. Right. The gardener is to prune right. the branches. Mm -hmm. You got it? Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Listen to this. Therefore, bear fruit. Be productive. Worthy of repentance. Let me hang my head here. Worthy of repentance. Is that the Jesus? Okay. Repentance. Worthy of repentance. Meaning that, that when you know what you've done wrong, immediately Amen. repent. Yes. Come here. Come, come here. Yes. Immediately yes. repent. Yes. That word. 
are worthy of all repentance. If you and I will be with them, we are worthy of repentance. When we know that the Bible has shown us, us and is cutting us back from us, we ought to repent. God, I'm sorry. God, make me better. Make me over. Jeremiah chapter 18. He tells the story of a power. He says, he goes down to take him down to his potter's house. He talks about this clay that is marred. This clay that is out of shape. This shape, this clay that is deformed and unproductive clay. He puts this marred clay out of shape, this form, clay on the potter's wheel. That ain't it. Your wheel all day long. You got to be in somebody's hand. The potter is God. And you and I are the marred clay that has to be on the potter's wheel and in the hand of the potter to shape us Remold us, yes. make us over one more time. Yes. Can I just tell you something? When I used to get part of class back in elementary, long time ago, yes. long time ago, but we used to have to keep on shaving this clay, keep on molding this clay. It wasn't just a one shot. We had to keep on doing it. And once we got the right shape. The right form. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Good God, yeah. The right shape and the right form. Then there was something else. They had gone back in elementary. And you put this stuff on it. And then they had to go and kill. Which means they had to go and fight. It was in that kill to, to burn off everything and to bring out what's it, and to bring out the color right. of what you made. Mm -hmm. Well, in the potter's house, he's remaking us. Yes. And can I just tell you something? He's remaking us until he comes back and get us. Yes. We should always be on the potter's wheel yes. and always in the potter's hands yes. for the potter to reshape us and remold us and make us who he has taught us to be as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. This in 
inner man, this inner man, this in me man must be changed first. And when the inner man is changed first, the outer man will be changed. Something on the inside. Something on the inside. Working on me. But I'm going to change in my life. It's the inside first. It's an inside job, y'all. It's not an outside of job. It's an inside job. As I close, the Lord said, Here's what I'm closing with. And He, the Father, determines how much we need to be grown. Some of us need to be grown the whole life, some of us not as much. But He knows how much we need to be grown. Again, He knows us, He sees us. From the inside out, he knows us. As I close, I read this, and as I told my girl, I'm asking God right now to search me. Right. Yes. See, sometimes, let me, let me do this. Who am I getting mad at? But sometimes, sometimes we, we deliver it, and I said it earlier, that we don't. It don't pertain to us. But when I go to James, yeah. chapter 3, <laughs> listen to this. There's greater judgment yes. on those who teach it yes. than those who don't. Yes. 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 Thank you, God, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Just spoke to my attention. Chapter 3 of James said, It is more of a judgment on those yes. who preach it. Teaching, yes. delivering, yes. and those who don't. Yes. That's Bible country, y'all. Yes. Read it, read it. James 3, James 3. I don't care what it said. You need to read it. Yes. God is done. I'm done too. Yes. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Prune me, God. Prune me, God. Prune me, God. Let me tell y'all something. It's an individual thing. Yes, it is. It's an individual thing. Yes, it is. I heard the late Bishop Ross Senior say, you know, you point one finger, there's three point back. Yes. Meaning that I have no right to point because I have three in me. Yes. And I will go. As I'm, as I'm talking to y'all, he's ready, he's ready to take me. I'm going to be transparent. Some things. Yeah. But sometimes you have to separate yourself, too. I said I was through. He needs to feed me. <laughs> you have to sometimes separate yourself. Because as I said earlier, you, some stuff, some people, some things can contaminate you. And make you, make, you, make you lose your walk with God. Amen. You ain't deep. You try to get in heaven. All right. That's right. And they'll call you deep. Right. But guess what? Don't let nobody change your mind. Amen. I'm focused on heaven. Yes. And I'm doing what it takes to get to heaven. Yes. Call me what you want to call me. Say what you want to say about me. But I, I want to make it into heaven. I want to hear him say, well done. Yes. Well, yes. well done, thy good and faithful servant. Yes. Watch it. Come up and I will make you ruler yes. over me. Yes. I do not want to hear him say, you're part of me. Work is love and nickel time. Yes. That's it. See him. Well done. Yes. Thy good and faithful servant. Yes. As we stand over the church and look at the doors of the church, the church Church doors are never closed. They're always open. But if someone desires prayer, you will come to pray with you and pray for you at this time. Is it Kenzie? Kenzie?
Okay, and, and baby, right? Okay, thank you. Touch their name and name and one by one, God. 
You know what they say you got. You know what they need God. You got moved by your mighty hand and moved by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for Elder Walker being in our presence this year. God, I pray you continue to touch his heart, your mighty hand, and give God. Give strength. Give energy, God. Touch him with your mighty hand of healing, God. From the top of his head to the soul of his feet, God. Bless in the name of Jesus. All the sick, God, just bless him, God. Of the church, God. Bless name by name and one by one, God. Touch and bless them in the name of Jesus. And those that are going through, God, lift the burden, lift the load, God. Touch and move by your mighty hand and your mighty power, God. You are very mellow and a heavy old okay. Bless and touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Bless us. We take the Lord's table. Mm -hmm. That we don't like the esteem, but we highly esteem and highly reverence the Lord's table. Yes. We're thankful yes. that we're able to take it, God, yes. and the, on the first Sunday of September, God. Yes. Bless and move mighty God. Mm -hmm. God, help us, God, to just reflect back on your death. And suffering on Calvary's cross. Bless us, God. Hallelujah. These blessings we ask. In Jesus' mighty and awesome name we pray. And we thank you. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Jesus' person in your prayers and your thoughts. Sign 
are still of the love of Christ the believer in a new covenant of grace and a token of his faithfulness. This cup is a new testament in my blood. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not of old leaven, but of unleavened bread, of sincerity and truth. This is a serious matter to take the Lord's table, not to be taken lightly, but highly reverence and highly esteemed to take the Lord's Supper.
sing a song and I go over to it. Yes.
Pretty much want to acknowledge Jesus for whatever God bless you. He's not hard to do for God bless you. Oh, 